Okay, so when you're using exponential equations, there's an easier way to solve some of them, as long as we get one side down to just a number and the other side down to just an exponent. Okay, if we have anything else, we can't use this method. And you'll learn more about this method next year, but it is a lot quicker and more efficient. I'm gonna kind of show you two ways. So if we had something that was like three to the 27, and we wanted to solve for that, we would know we would just make this three to the three, and therefore x equals three. But what about cases like three to the x equals 24, where you can't really get an exact number? What we'd actually have to do is we would have to s narrow it down to um, well, three squared is nine, three to the three is 27. So we know it's between nine and 27. So we know that it's between those two. So we'd actually have to try three to the two point, let's say seven, three to the 2.8, three to the 2.9. I'm trying those last ones because it is a lot closer to 27. So this is equal to approximately, so we've got three to the exponent, 2.7 is equal to approximately 19.4. Three to the 2.8 is equal to approximately uh, 21.7 and 3 to the 2.9 is equal to approximately 24.2. So in this case, we'd actually say, and we'd have to go through and do this a whole bunch of times, we'd actually say that this is the closest. So we'd say x is approximately equal to 2.9 which isn't great. So what we can actually do, and we're gonna learn all the rules behind this next year. This is something that you can just memorize. We have three to the X equals 24. Now on our calculator, there's a log button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say X or the exponent here is equal to the log of everything on the other side of the equation divided by the log of our base. And again, we're gonna learn why all of this works next year. You don't have to do it. You can always do this trial and error method, which is much slower, but you'll get full marks. And again, you'll learn this method next year. Um, the log of 24, which is 1.38, divided by the log of three, which is 0.477, equals 2.8, I'm gonna, 2.893. Uh, okay, so if you look at that, that's a little bit more accurate. And the number, this was slightly bigger. This is going to be right on. Okay, so that's just a quick method. So we're going to try it again. So here, we've got a little bit bigger exponent. Our exponent is what we're solving for here. Log of the other side divided by log of the base, so x plus 2, and we'll go to three, three decimals here. So log 22 divided by log 4 is equal to 2.22, we'll just leave it like that, and then x is equal to 0 0.22. These are approximate because there are a lot of decimals there. Okay, last one. Okay, if there's a little bit more to it, we have to just have that single exponent. We can't have anything else there. So we're going to have to divide the 3 over. So we're going to get 14. Okay, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. 2 to the x plus 1 equals log of 14. over log two, two x plus one equals about, we'll call it 3.81. And then we're gonna have two x equals 2.81. And I'm keeping all of the decimals in my calculator, but I'm just writing down to two decimals here. 
and then we get four, zero, okay? And again, I've rounded along the way. Um, you can try this method with the worksheet that's provided. The one other thing that you should look, you should recognize is that whether I use the log button here or, and sometimes they're just the second function, but sometimes calculators have a different button, the lawn button, they're both gonna work out. Log is just using a base of 10 